Hello and welcome to Cayman Gaming. I am Cayman and this is Planet Crafter. Last episode we launched a rocket, a moss rocket, up into the air. So let's have a see at what that's done for us. Biomass now is 599.5 grams per second. So I think it's increased it by 1000%. I think that's what all the rest of the rockets do. Um, let's just... I feel like... I feel like this is definitely greener. Just on the outskirts, I don't know if you can see there, but I feel like that's greener. I feel like there's also some green up there as well. Let's see how that goes along. Um, did we unlock anything last at the end of last episode for launching that rocket? I can't quite remember. Let's just pop into our biomass level one and just see what we've unlocked. Okay, so it's the rocket, and we launched the rocket, and it is a biomass multiplier of 1,000%. Flower spreader T2 at 500 grams. Maybe we create another biomass rocket. Maybe that's the way forwards now. Okay, so biomass rocket, another rocket engine, another fertilizer, and another seed lerma. Pressure multiplier by 1,000. Attracts iridium. Provides a better geolocation. Oh, we can go in here. Provides a better geolocation. So this is the map that we're on currently. It is definitely getting green. So there is definitely green. We're definitely getting some green spots. Okay, let's see what it takes to craft a, a silico magnesium and two aluminiums a silicone a magnesium and two aluminiums let's create two rocket two compasses there and I think we're gonna need a third actually blooming recipes GPS one super alloy and one rocket engine Not in there. One super alloy, one rocket engine. So we're currently at, what's the pressure? 12,000. Is that what we're doing? Pressure. Hmm. Maybe I will do a biomass first. Yeah, pressure multiplier. Oh, biomass. Yeah, biomass. Oh no, it's GPS, isn't it? GPS is what we're doing. Okay, so we'll launch that one into space straight away. We now need a rocket so that we can do two super alloys, fertilizer, How do we create a rocket again? So the rocket is iridium rod, two uranium and a super alloy. Okay, so it's not too expensive now. Two uraniums. Okay, so let's create that rocket now. Uh, Fertilizer is something else we'll need. 94% is that currently. 94, 94, 94. Is that 100? That's 93%. Let's put that back in there. 79, 79. That's 100. Okay, so we can start creating some bio nuggets there. Fertilizer was two algaes, one sulfur and two eggplants. Let's go and create, let's go and collect some of that algae. See what our algae level two has done for us. Maybe four. So 
So that's 10 algae all together here. Maybe it only creates four, but it creates them faster. I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't too much of a boost up there from the algae level one, actually. 100%. Um, nice. One. 100%. Nice. It would have been nice to have somewhere just to plant these. Like, with, with that biodome two, I thought we could just plant in the soil there. Um, two algaes and a sulfur we need. Yeah, that would have it would have been nice to be able to do that and just have them sort of like grow as they would outside, but in that biodome. I need to, I have already put it back in there. Two super alloys needed. Let's just check our map. I don't think our map has actually changed. With the launch of that second rocket, I don't think it's changed at all. Well, that's a bit of a shame. At least now we know. Um, two super alloys. One. Ooh. Whoops. We're going to need to make another super alloy, I think. Biomass rocket. There we go. Let's launch that straight away. And we should get some more of those green things all over again. kind of what we got last time. Yeah, leather's definitely green appearing now. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that's doubled the biomass. Again. That's going up really quite quickly for us. Um, let's take a water. Ooh, we now have the flower spread at Mark Two. Okay. What do we need to build that? Two water bottles, two super alloys, and two fertilizers. Oh, we are becoming a bit fertilizer heavy, aren't we now? Let's just check our... Oh, look, we've got a massive green aura around us. I wonder what that's done to the map. No, no, not greener, not greener just yet. But everything does have look, this like little green aura. Um, so nuclear, nuclear. We have 130 available. Three uranium rods. Gosh, I forgot. Three uranium rods. Do we have it? No, we don't. Not by far. We're going to have to call down some uranium. I believe we've got the one rod there. Okay, so iridium rod, two uraniums, and a super alloy. That's all of our aluminium done. Super alloy, one rocket. It's the uranium that we need. And that needs two more super alloys and two more cobalt. And that does heat multiplier. Okay, so it's heat that that gets. Let's just put our resources in there. We'll go to our second ore mine. And we'll pick up everything in that second ore mine. Aluminium. Nice. We'll take all of that away. all of this as well inventory full there we go and we'll go and put that into storage just so that we've got it let's go and launch that next uranium 1000 heat multiplier 1000 I am worried about burning us up 
That is a very real concern. Wow, that one was close. Gosh, that's so close. Oh, I'm really glad we don't have to go too far. That was a very worthwhile venture. Oh, we did say we were going to go and explore, re-explore those other two ships, didn't we? Let's go and explore those ships while we wait for these rocks to disappear. Remember, we had the cryptic message. You can deconstruct the wall behind the screens of the first crash site. And I'm fairly confident we haven't yet done that. Even accidentally. Which says to me that we're missing something with these crash sites. There's one of them. This is a crash site, but is it the first? I just don't know. Right. That's the main way in. We've been in there. Nothing else is coming up as deconstruct or grab. Let's go around to the left again. This is where we found a rocket, I believe. Oh, there's a microchip, so we missed this. We missed that. Food, aluminium and silicone. Oh, we'll deconstruct that. So the microchip is useful, but we know we've actually unlocked everything we can so far. Aluminium and squash seeds. Maybe we didn't come back in here. Another microchip. Had we missed so much? Just sticking all the way to the left. Oxygen low, that's fine. Okay, we can't do those doors. Right, and that brings us out to the beginning. Again. Okay, so I'm fairly confident we have now explored that ship in as much detail as we're going to be able to. I could not see any screens in that ship, so though there was no wall that we can deconstruct. I did have my deconstruct on for most of the time. It is definitely turning greener here, isn't it? It's definitely turning greener. We have got the storage over in our little box there, should we need it. So that does nothing. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so stay to the left again. Next to the screens. You could deconstruct next to the screens, they said. Nothing around in here. Maybe it's a wall we'd already deconstructed. Ah, 
there's a screen. There's a big screen. Well, I'm fairly confident in saying we've pretty much finalized that one. So, eggplants we can start using for fertilizer. So that's three fertilizers. And we were going to build a biodome T2. So bacteria samples are made. Ooh, a mutagen, a methane cartridge. Bacteria samples, three algae, three waters. And super alloys and a sulfur. Okay, so we need six waters. Okay, so six waters. That does us eight. And then we'll just collect algae till we're full. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, that other one does do four at a time. And up. Oop. And with this we were doing the whoops. With this we were doing the bacteria samples. So two bacteria samples. And then we need two super alloys and one sulfur. Two super alloys. Two fertilizers and one sulfur needed. And that should be enough to make our next biodome. Let's put it at the back of this. And it looks like it's connected. And we can walk straight through. There we go. And they will both independently produce barks. Whereas these ones, it's two barks, this, but it's the same. Let's do a flower spreader tier two. That also takes two fertilizers and two super alloys. We've got three algaes. We've got the eggplants we need. And we need two sulfurs. We are going to need another two algae, which we currently don't have. We'll fly over to this one and grab them from there. I'll probably put the flower spreader here on the side of this mountain because I think that would look nice to come back to. How much power have we got? 55 available. How much does a flower spreader take? Oh, enough. We've got enough. One more fertilizer. Okay, so we've got both fertilizers. Two super alloys, so we need two of each again. And that's it. So our flower spreader mark two. Put it on the side here. Now let's go and collect this uranium while we're here. Of 
course we should put a flower in, shouldn't we? Let's go put in a really nice flower. make an iridium rod and we'll put that in there four let's make another iridium rod and put that in there and now let's get ourselves a nice flower that's the 400 let's do the 400 grass isn't that lovely and flora okay so the next stage is flora so maybe we just continue biomass for a while actually what's the next thing that unlocks food grower t2 at 35 tons okay so we're a fair way away from that yet We do need to do one more nuclear. That will require a rod. What else does it require to make? Three uranium rods, one explosive powder, two, one super alloy. One, two, and a sulfur for the explosive powder. And that's the last of our sulfur. We're going to have to go out and grab some sulfur. Oh, we do need two sulfurs. Oh, that is a shame, and I'm fairly confident we don't have any others. Yep, we don't. We're going to need to go and get some. Right, two oxygens, two waters it is. Oh, we had another green rod as well. Still doesn't melt until a hundred, but then I don't think it leads into anywhere. This is some iridium if we ever fall short. Have we got any sulfur anywhere? Oh, I thought we had more sulfur in here than this. There's one piece soul piece in here maybe hey, that's odd that's a shame oh a second piece there but there's not very much at all not very much at all Five starts melting at five UK. Is that counting down? A hundred NK. I don't really understand that melting. Okay, so we've got the iridium, the two sulfurs. One, two, three rods. Explosive powder we're going to make now. What else do we need for it? A super alloy and another water bottle. We've got an aluminium, a magnesium, a silicone, a titanium, an iron, a cobalt, all there. And another water bottle is what we need. go and collect one and one more nuclear reactor mark 2 
amazing well thank you very much for watching guys as always if you have seen something you like something you think i could do better please do put something in the comments um do please if you've enjoyed it do please like and subscribe as well as it really helps me out um thank you very much and i will see you again soon